Right, uh, this is uh, just a bit of a talk about these orbs that appear in my vlogs. Um, they started oh, months and years ago probably. They may appear in this vlog now. Um, there was a pause for, well, several couple of months probably, where you know, I've been doing my, my usual vlogs to camera, um, but they've reappeared again they've started appearing in my uh, in my vlogs in my last vlog uh, three appeared sometimes you'll just get one you know then in another vlog you'll get several of them and I'm just trying to piece things together um, obviously you can rule out a fly a moth an insect and a piece of dust and whatever you know I've done analysis videos and it's none of them. They are orbs. Now then, there are several types of orbs. Um, I got this book. Oh, I've had this months, months ago now. Ghost hunting, understanding orbs, and explains all the different types of orbs and what have you. But um, a lot think or believe that an orb is a ghost trying to manifest itself. Now then, um, the former occupier of this house where I live in committed suicide going back in the uh, middle 80s, 1980s. Um, you know, is that person, it was a woman by the way, you know, with me being a paranormal sensitive, is that person trying to make contact, trying to manifest itself through me? I, I, you know, it's, it's all interesting stuff. Um, you know, to put the three things together. You know, me being a paranormal sensitive, sensitive to paranormal activity, which if you've followed my videos, you'll, you'll see about that. Um, the person who occupied this house committed suicide and the orbs, you know, I'm just thinking these those three things, there's got to be some sort of connection. There has to be. Um, you know, and I don't, you'll see in the videos, the, all these orbs, I don't react to them. I'm doing a piece to camera. The last vlog, one shot up right in front of me. Like that. The second one came across there. And then the third one was up, up in the top corner here, just... just floated across that was behind me but I don't see anything um, I don't experience anything physically you'll see I'm just talking to camera like I am now I don't react to them you know if something went like that if I saw it I'd go you know what the hell you know I would react to it but you can see that I don't I don't see anything I don't experience anything either um, there's a place a certain well certain haunted locations that I go to. One in particular is uh, Holkin Cemetery. You may have seen the videos. I've got some videos on my channel of my visits to that place and I tell you that is haunted <laughs> definitely. Um, there's, there's, I First of all I, I, I overheat. I get shortness of breath. My hands start shaking. My legs go weak. I feel like I'm going to faint and it really affects me but here now in this room doing a piece to camera with my vlogs or whatever you know I don't experience anything I could beef it up and say oh I'm, oh, I'm feeling this and feeling that when these orbs are... but I don't I don't feel anything at all just the orbs flying around me so yeah you know it's really interesting stuff um, I'm just thinking is there a connection you know paranormal sensitive you know the the occupier of this house committed suicide and these orbs in my vlogs it's all interesting stuff anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you again